John O'Brien, Grand Prix Outdoors, out here doing some switchgrass planting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bulk it up with a nurse crop. We got oats, and according to most NRCS mixes, they recommend 50 pounds an acre. That's basically a bushel and a half of oats. Then I'm also going to dump in, you know, the one acre's worth of the switchgrass. We're going to stir everything up good. Put it in your plot master, put it in your no-till grain drill, put it in your bag seeder, however where you're seeding. And today I'm using a plot master. Um, I just lightly went over the soil uh, uh, two days ago and um, basically to kind of get rid of some of the, the weeds, uh, basically creating a seed bed. Um, we're just dropping seed and we're just basically rolling it in. So I'm not really working the ground at this point because this seed only needs to be an eighth quarter inch deep. Too many people get their switchgrass planted too deep. So again, I'm just using this as my seeder to drop seed, slightly run the roller over top. And again, then if I need to do any post plant broadleaf control, so be it. So this is really light soil, sandy ground. Another reason why using some kind of nurse crop can be good to get some uh, early uh, establishment to prevent the soil from baking out. Yes, there's some other alternatives that I'm not going to discuss here. They're overlooked by the public, but I'm just doing a nice little trial here using a concept that most people that are using approved mixes for NRCS uh, um, programs, uh, USDA programs would do, and that's the 50 pounds per acre of oats. So we'll uh, share pictures, uh, do posts in the future as things progress. A uh, few little things going on today on a beautiful Sunday, 80 degrees in south central Wisconsin. John O'Brien, Grand Prix Outdoors.